What's up guys? So we're here back with one of the best items that you can actually go farm. And this also ties into one of the things I said before and said over and over again is to invest in items that had no value whatsoever in the beginning of the server and that will potentially be used in the future. One of those commonly useless items in the beginning was ionized scroll scraps. You get these very easily actually by doing the library dailies. So in the library, you got this daily quest to kill lots and lots of monsters on each floor. You kill them, you normally raid up, and then at the end, you're going to gain one of these scraps. These scraps are very, very valuable, as you can see, and they spiked up this last week because people are now starting to craft ionod weapons and armor. They're starting to get the proficiency needed to craft these guys. You needed 130,000. So two, three weeks ago, you could have bought these for two to four gold each very very cheap they were on the auction house there were a plentiful amount of them i mean we were able to gather up over 500 of these scraps now look at this just dramatic increase in value here so it's up to nearly 30 gold a scrap and there's not much on the auction house so 2750 is currently the lowest even if you sell this at 20 gold a scrap this is a pretty good investment if you bought them at two to four gold. The price might actually increase in value after this video hits. I mean, as just time goes on, more people are gonna craft Iana weapons and armor. Of course, after this video hits, more of you guys are now gonna go farm the library, but there's gonna be more crafting going on. Crafting has been made easier in this patch. Iana weapons and armor are easier to obtain. This is the easiest time ever to have Iana weapons and armor. So people are now beginning to realize that and the scraps are becoming more and more valuable. The entire scrap system is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's a general guaranteed progression. If you go farm in the library, you do your dailies, you're going to get one scrap every day. You can also potentially get them out of Queen's crates from what I'm understanding. They did change the system a lot, but you do need a lot of these scraps to make a scroll. So you click on this crafting station here, the Disciples Workbench, it's in a couple of locations, but there's right outside of the library. Click on Ionod Patterns, and you'll notice that to make a accessory scroll, you need 35 scraps to make, plus all this other stuff, and 50,000 printing proficiency. So it is quite difficult to make. Then for armor, you need 50 scraps. And then weapons, you need a whole 80 scraps, a massive amount of 80 scraps there. It also does cost a lot of labor. We currently have 50,000, so it's bringing it down. It's like a 1,000 labor to craft these things. Very, very expensive. So you'll notice that that's why that these prices are very sporadic. They change dramatically throughout the day because you need a whole bunch of them. It's not something you just need one or two of. You actually need 50, 80, 35 of these scraps to craft. And you can see the amount that is gobbled up, consumed, has steadily increased in the last couple of days. It's a massive increase of sales on these things. These things going all the way from 1 gold to 22 gold, averaging at 20 gold here for same day sales yesterday, was 34 gold as the high, the low of 6 gold. There's a lot of money to be had here. Generally, these things will probably sell around that 25 gold mark, 20 gold, 30 gold. So don't undervalue your scraps. These things are worth a ton of money and potentially could keep going up in value. So farm the library. The library, do those library dailies every day. Get into a raid, go into library groups, gather that scrap up, sell it. Easy, easy money there. So even if you just get 20 gold for you know a little bit of time, that's free labor. It doesn't cost you anything. You go in there, you're going to get a scrap at the end of doing all three floors. And it's worth a good chunk of money, guys. So congrats to all those that smartly invested and predicted this in the future. You made a lot of money. I know personally we bought most of these at around four gold. So when you multiply that times five or six, which is the increased value, there's a lot of money to be had there. Anyway, guys, there's some other things that are very similar to that as well that may not be used right now. And could potentially be used in the future, especially with 3.1. So look for these items that are not being used or are very rarely being used in the current patch or the current version that you're playing. And then think long term. 
this was a, a quite easy one. This was like, okay, four weeks ago, no one's using ionide scroll scraps. In the next couple of weeks, people are going to start crafting ionide weapons and armor. Generally, it's not that simple. Generally, it's not that easy to make thousands upon thousands of gold. You can see we've invested, we had over 500 scraps. So let's say we bought them at four gold each. We spent 2,000 gold to buy those. If we got six times our money, that means we made a total of 10,000 gold there in the last two weeks or so. Simply investing back two weeks ago from now, you could have made 10,000 gold because the value of these things just jumped up sporadically crazy and it was easily seen in the future. Ionod weapons are the future. Aranor weapons are the future after that. We have about a six month wait for Aranor weapons, but whatever they are requiring out of Korea, you definitely want to stockpile on those guys. Aranor weapons are going to be the future of this game. They are the next major patch. Everyone always wants the next big thing. So stockpile Aranor items that are required to craft. Once we figure out what is coming out of Korea, we'll go ahead and take a look at those and see what smart investments there are. But they do change sometimes with the North America versions. So we have to be a little bit careful there. And remember that a lot of people are also going to be doing that too because it's a big deal. And you kind of understand that's how you make an insane amount of money right there. So again, made about 10,000 gold in one or two weeks there just with some simple smart investing. Good luck, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.